Hola, amigos. Welcome back to our language exploration channel. Today, we have something truly fascinating lined up for you. We're diving deep into the word one in Spanish, and trust me, it's more than just a number. So, grab your linguistic scuba gear, because we're about to explore the depths of this versatile word. To start, let's cover the basics. The word one in Spanish is duno. Now, you might think it's a straightforward translation, but as we'll see, it has a myriad of uses beyond just counting. Of course, uno is used as a cardinal number, representing the quantity one. But did you know that it also plays a crucial role in ordinal numbers? We'll unravel the mystery behind phrases like el primero and la primera, and how they tie back to our humble uno. Uno isn't just about counting things, it also steps into the realm of pronouns. We'll explore how uno can be used as a pronoun, representing an unspecified person or someone in a general sense. It's a linguistic chameleon that adds depth to Spanish communication. Now, let's delve into the symbolic aspect of uno. It goes beyond mathematics and language rules, uno is often employed to convey unity and singularity. We'll uncover its presence in idioms, expressions, and cultural contexts that highlight the significance of oneness in the Spanish language. Brace yourselves for a collection of intriguing Spanish expressions and proverbs featuring our star player, Uno. From, Como Uno Mas, to, Mas Vale Tard Que Nunca, we'll explore how these phrases shed light on the cultural nuances and wisdom embedded in the language. Spanish is a rich and diverse language, and Duno is no exception. Join me as we navigate through regional variations and nuances in the use of Duno. Whether you're in Spain, Mexico, or any other Spanish-speaking region, you'll notice subtle differences that add layers to this seemingly simple word. Well, amigos, that concludes our deep dive into the multifaceted world of Duno in Spanish. From its numerical roles to its symbolic significance, we've explored it all. I hope you found this linguistic journey as fascinating as I did. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your language-loving friends, and subscribe for more linguistic adventures. Hasta luego!